collectors and gift givers, here is a My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide, where we take a look at what's on the shelves so you can decide if it's a buy or a pass. We have our winter backdrop up today because we are taking a look at Rainbow High Winter Break Dolls. We have Skylar, Jade, Sunny, Poppy, Ruby, and Violet. We found these dolls at Walmart and Target for prices ranging from $36.88 to $36.99. Walmart was the $88, Target was the $99. The packaging is rectangular. We have the center section that comes out just a little. We can see some nice frosting on the plastic. There's a plastic handle on the top. On the back of the box, there is a large illustration of the dolls. It does say Rainbow High at the top, Winter Break. This actually looks like a really cool poster. I've cut all of the tape on the box and now I'm just going to try and completely deconstruct the box to get everything out because that's not going to slide. So we need to go to the back here. Probably lift it at the bottom without destroying our nails. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the whole box apart. And now the doll comes out. Rainbow High Boxes and I have not always gotten along, so I'm always pleased when they're easy to open, or at least when I can figure out how to open them. Oh no, we're missing a little fluff on her boots there. I mean, ice skates. The doll stand is located behind her second outfit. It's purple with glitter in the plastic. There's a matching comb, purple hangers. This one says rainbow on it, just like the one that came with Jet. However, I do feel like you lose some of the function of the hanger by having the words go across. Violet comes with a set of skis and boots. The boots can fit into the skis. We just have to pull this piece back and then this goes forward and it just kind of locks into place. The boots are flocked at the top and on the pom-poms. They have painted details, which is always fun. She comes with a second outfit and here is the doll. Her hair is soft, has different shades of purple and silver. There are curls at the bottom that do have product, so we're gonna have to wash that out. She wears large fuzzy earmuffs with earrings attached. Earrings are removable so we can use them on the earmuffs or directly on the doll. Her face does have a pearly finish. She has glitter makeup above the eye, a pink lip color, eyelashes, inset eyes, wears a crop jacket with a quilt pattern. It is decorated with little pearls, has fur on the sleeves and on these little pom-poms. It matches her skirt, which also has fur at the bottom. The jacket has a hood trimmed with fur. She wears a sleeveless turtleneck underneath. We do have quite a few loose stitches. The jacket, the shirt, and the skirt are all separate pieces. The shirt Velcro's in the back, so does the skirt. And I'm loving the bottom of that jacket. That's pretty cute. And look, the little pearls go all the way around. The top of my zipper was left raw and it does have a little unraveling. There are adorable little pockets on the front of her skirt or on the side. Let's see if they are real pockets. Let's see. Oh, they are. Working pockets are always a plus in my book. She wears stockings and knee-high ice skates that do open in the back, so it's a little easier to get them on and off. However, due to packaging, my skates are bent, so that's something you may want to look for when you are selecting a doll in the store. Her nails are painted. It's like a soft, pearly, grayish color, but I want to know about the articulation. After reviewing Jet, I am super excited to see if that articulation has carried over to the rest of the line. She has articulation at the head. Yes, she can look up and down, to the sides, tilt her head. Yes, then she can move at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, the wrist. Can she touch her face? 
Can we, can we do that? Yes, she can. Do we have upper torso articulation? No, we don't. Okay. We have articulation at the hip, the upper thigh, right? Come on, come on. Yep, there's an upper thigh joint there. It's just a little stuck. Let's try the other leg. Yeah, this one moves. She can bend at the knee. Really nice there. What about that ankle? Do we have an ankle joint? No, we do not. Her articulation is the same as the twins. We get two complete outfits to mix and match and an added accessory of skis. Rainbow High Dolls with two complete outfits were originally priced at $26.99. The Winter Break Dolls are $10 more and they added a set of skis. And we now have three versions of Series 1 characters. The Core Line, the Cheerleaders, and Winter Break. Violet's second outfit has a pearly crop top, a faux suede pleated skirt, and a matching jacket with faux silver buttons and fur around the neckline. Um, excuse me, but I wanna know, does the fit fit? Stockings, not terrible. Skirt, yes. Top, crop top. The sleeves on the jacket come out a little short. And I had to use a different doll because I couldn't even get the sleeves past Mini Toya's modified hands. The boots actually hold pretty good, even with the added weight from the skis. If you are worried about that little gap there, a lot of space, you can just add a pair of socks. For the second outfit, once again, the skirt fits and the top is a crop top. And here's the jacket. Let's take a look at Ruby next. She comes with a red doll stand, comb, hangers, dressed in a red, black, and white ski suit, Tons of details here, like the Rainbow High logo on the chest, kind of reminds me of the North Face. There are little buckles and clamps on the sides. Lots of zipper details. Look at those little buckles at the top. She's wearing a jacket with overalls, real pockets. However, the pockets do go all the way through. The jacket has faux buttons and working pockets a nice little hood that isn't really functional for this particular doll. She wears a red toboggan or beanie with sequins sewn to the front and a little pom-pom at the top and red, black, and white boots with gold details on her feet. She has that pearly shimmer on her face, glitter eyeshadow, and glitter lipstick. Her red hair has some nice large curls on the end with lots of product. Under the jacket, she wears a long sleeve white shirt. Ooh, and the back of those overalls are kind of cute. The shirt says Rainbow Los Angeles on the front. I think this outfit is so cute. I love the way they did all of the details. She comes with a white snowboard with red details. The other side says Sparkle. Her boots fit onto the snowboard and she feels pretty secure there. We can get some fun poses. That's pretty cool. In my opinion, not loving the glitter on the lips, but that's also a personal preference. Her second outfit is a short sleeve black shirt with rainbow Los Angeles on the front, a red skirt with black details, paired with a red faux fur jacket with adorable little details and it says rainbow and black stitching on the back. She has red socks. We do have a few loose stitches and a pair of ice skates. On my Barbie, I'm not able to get the straps over her shoulders on the overalls for the ski suit and the sleeves on the jacket are a little short for our Barbies. However, if you just really wanted your dolls to wear this, you could probably just replace the ribbon uh, right here and it'll go over her shoulder. So you have to do a little bit of sewing, but I think it could be done. The black shirt is a little on the short side. However, the skirt does fit and the fur coat fits as well. It just has short sleeves. Here is Poppy dressed in her signature orange. She has freckles, a peach lip color. Her skin is glittery. 
She wears her hair in two pigtails. The curls are nice and soft in the back. She has two pieces hanging down in the front. These are loaded with product, so they're crunchy. She wears earmuffs with gold earrings. An orange jacket dress with black and white stripes, a gold faux zipper going down the front, an elastic waistband belt with a butterfly. The stripes are at the bottom. It has a fur-lined hoodie that is a faux hoodie, and it Velcros in the back. She wears tall socks, orange skates with a little flocking at the top. We have some white details, a little butterfly, some gold. She comes with an orange doll stand, matching comb, orange hangers, she has pearly orange ski boots, and they were not easy to get on for me with those socks. She has orange butterfly skis with gold brackets that fit the boots so she can go skiing without poles. On the other side of the skis, it says for flying. And I almost missed these little pockets on the side with little butterfly details. Her second outfit has a white t-shirt with an orange and gold graphic in front that we can pair with a corduroy orange dress with faux silver buttons and an orange and black crop jacket with a fur collar and silver buttons. This is a very sweet look in my opinion. Definitely my favorite second outfit so far. That orange jacket dress is totally just a jacket on a Barbie. You're gonna need pants. But with the belt, and if we just push the sleeves up, we could get a cute winter look. The white crop top is short, but it fits. And the orange dress becomes a top. Sunny Madison marks the halfway point of this collection. She comes with a yellow doll stand, yellow comb, yellow hangers, colorful yellow rainbow skis. It says rainbow high underneath. Her yellow hair has curls on the end with lots of product. They're pretty crunchy. She wears a yellow beanie with sequins and two pom-poms. A crop puffer coat that says rainbow, then has a rainbow print going down the bottom and around the collar. She wears yellow pants with belt loops, a faux button, ribbons going down the side. We have orange and red on one side and blue and purple on the other. Colorful boots, they're white and yellow with rainbow details. The jacket and the pants are two separate pieces and they Velcro in the back. She wears a yellow sleeveless top underneath. Her boots lock into her skis just like the other dolls. Her second outfit also has pants, which I am excited about. She has a multicolored sweater that says rainbow on the front, metallic pants with colorful art. They have belt loops, pockets, faux buttons, and pockets in the back. She has silver ice skates with colorful laces. Add her yellow matching jacket with fur collar and cuffs, black and white details, clear pocket, and faux buttons to finish the look. This Sunny doesn't have bangs. Instead, she just has long curls. The fit kind of fits our Barbies. While the yellow pants look great, the top is a little on the short side. And the jacket's kind of short too. But those metallic pants are great. Here's Jade. Her style is pretty similar to Ruby's, just a different color. She wears green overalls with pockets, white and black details, a matching jacket with pockets on the front. The jacket has a hood. You can see rainbow high on the back. She wears black boots with green and white details, a beanie that says sparkle. It's white, it has green and black stripes and a little pom-pom on top. She comes with a black and green snowboard that says rainbow on the back so she can hit the slopes. Her hair is green and straight. There is some product on the front pieces. I kind of feel like this wasn't needed. Her skin has that little shimmer. She has glitter eyeshadow and little stars under her eyes. She has a green doll stand, matching comb, hangers, and she has a striped shirt under her jacket. Her second outfit has a white shirt with a droopy green face and it says rainbow underneath, a green plaid skirt with black trim and silver details, paired with a faux leather jacket, 
with fur lining the edges and the collar with little touches of green and it says rainbow on the collar in black stitching. She has black skates with silver and green details. I think this is a very cute look for her. Our Barbies can kind of fit the snowsuit just like Ruby's, but I couldn't get the straps from her bib to go over her shoulders. Here's her second outfit, which I think we can kind of get away with. Just as usual, the shirt becomes a crop top. Last but not least, here is Skylar, who is rocking some very lush curls. She comes with a blue doll stand, comb and hangers, a snowboard that fades from white to blue. On the other side, it says rainbow. She wears a blue beanie with a little sparkle and a white pom-pom. She has that shimmer on her face, very dramatic eye makeup, a little bit of silver eyeshadow, and she has glitter on her lips. Her hair is full of curls. Some of them have a few crunchy spots, but for the most part, they're nice and bouncy. She wears a long puffer coat that says rainbow on it. It has silver details. Seriously, look at all of this. The coat has a fur lined hood. Underneath, she has a one piece snowsuit with faux zippers. It has a little stretch to it. Unfortunately, I have found a few holes in the garment, so hopefully I can stitch that back together. She wears pearly blue boots with white laces that attach to the snowboard. The look of this outfit is my favorite. However, I'm just a little disappointed about that hole. But keep in mind, this is just my experience. Yours may be different. Her second outfit is a sparkly hoodie with jeans with pockets and rows of sequin down at the bottom. Her skates look like heels and she has a white faux fur coat with the word rainbow stitched on it. Yeah, her look is absolutely my favorite. Since her outfit stretches, it can totally fit our Barbies. The jacket just has short sleeves, but it totally works. However, the bulkiness does restrict movement just a little. The second outfit looks great too. And I just noticed there are pockets in the back. But if I want the rainbow high fashion to fit perfectly on my mini, I'm just gonna have to make a rainbow high mini Toya. I am going to turn Sunny Madison into a mini me. Rainbow high edition. Their heads are pretty hard, so <laughs> rerouting is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and get started on that big chop. Get hot water, place a doll in a bag, and then place her head into the water so we can soften it. Once the head is pretty soft, we can go ahead and remove it. I'm trying to be careful here. Oh my goodness. I use a crochet hook to scrape the hair on the inside so we can remove it. And now we have a nice little bald head here. Now this is just my way of doing it. There are lots of different ways to remove hair and to reroute. Carefully paint her scalp. I'm doing a little patch of light gray on top and then a darker gray on the bottom. Allow it to dry. I have my sock yarn. I bought this at Michael's for my Barbie mini me. Thread a needle point or embroidery needle with the yarn. Push it into some of the pre-made holes. I'm using pliers to save my fingers, but I am running into a little bit of a problem here. My needles are not quite long enough to um, reach inside her head. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I may need to just order longer needles. I ordered these six and a half inch needles from Amazon. It's been a couple of days, but now we can just push this larger needle into the doll's head. It's very thick, so I might still need those pliers to very carefully push it in. All right, now we can take the needle and it comes out the other side, y'all. Then I just grab it with the pliers and pull 
And now we can root the head. I tie a knot in the yarn, trim off the excess, then pull it to give our Rainbow High Mini Toya some locks. This is going to take a while because there is a lot of area to cover. I am matching the yarn to the way we painted her head to get that mini Toya look. To get her head back on her body, I might need to warm up some more water just to soften the head so we can get it back on. Then pick out an outfit. I use a sewing pen to give her a nose ring to complete my Rainbow High mini Toya. She can wear all of the Rainbow High fashion, so nobody's clothes are safe now. And since we already have the hot water out, let's see what a Rainbow High Made to Move doll would look like. Skylar looks like a good match for the green Made to Move yoga doll. So let's remove some heads. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There we go. Oops. I totally forgot to say, off with their heads. Well, it's a little late for that now. Put the new head on the body and it looks pretty good. It definitely creates a much taller doll, but now they've got all the posability of a made to move Barbie. Hmm, that's different. Overall, I love the outfits that come with many of these dolls. However, at this price point, I would have loved to have seen them with the same articulation as Jet. Because articulation is very important to me. You may feel differently, that's just my opinion. Personally, I think the winter break theme could have been a fashion pack rather than a whole new doll. But I do like seeing this version of Sunny without the bangs. So wow, we covered a lot in this video. We unboxed the Rainbow High winter break dolls. We did a does the fit fit, experimented with a little body swapping, and made a custom mini Toya. Yeah! Let us know in the comments down below if these dolls are a buy or a pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Stop it down.